Joe Burrow's one, correct? That's not any doubt, right? That's a that's a fact. We yeah, can just rip, I, rip the knob off. I feel like that. Uh, I feel like that is a it's a certainty there that he's going to be the first pick, and the Bengals will uh, they'll get their guy. So then the draft begins. I think at three, if we assume that uh, Chase Young goes at two, and then the fun begins. Right, and then um, third overall are the Lions. Now I know mock drafts do not include trades. How likely? What are you hearing right now? about maybe an itchy trigger finger by the Dolphins or the Chargers knocking on the Lions' door and saying we need to hop up to three to make sure we get the quarterback we want. What are you hearing on that front right now? Nothing. I have not heard anything. You know, I know the Lions, Bob Quinn has said that he's received phone calls, which every team's going to make those calls this time. Uh, But in terms of the likelihood or that we're going to see this happen, um, I don't know. I I think Tua with the Dolphins situation makes it interesting because we've heard so much about Herbert uh, you know, being the guy there with the Dolphins and whether people think that's a smoke screen or not, I tend to think it's actually pretty legitimate. So if you're the Chargers and say you're a Tua team, right, you really want Tua to just energize this uh, this city and this fan base and you've got a really talented team and he can be the face uh, to replace Phillip Rivers, do you, do you trust your gut and say, man, I think they're going to go Herbert, so let's not trade any assets. Let's sit here and wait and we're going to get hurt. We're going to get Tua. Uh, without having to give up any picks. Or, like you said, I think you used the term, right, it's, they get an itchy trigger finger and, and maybe they want to go up. That's uh, that's the storyline to follow in the draft. That's the number one story, in my opinion. So when the Lions are on the clock, that 10-minute period, that's when we're that's when we start sitting up a little bit more upright in our chairs, keeping an ear to the ground. Um, and then if the Lions don't 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 move, it is a CUDA. That that's 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 a, that's the choice of Honolulu Blue. They they go to the Ohio State and get the that corner. That to me is the one that makes the most sense. I just think he's a great fit there. Um, that's the you know Patricia way. If you go off the Belichick playbook, which is where he came from, and they build their defense back to front instead of front to back. So you lose Darius Slay, you slide him in there. I know some people have said, well, why would you why would you do that? It's just kind of an even swap if you could have kept Slay and, and uh, gone in a different direction. Uh, but this is a younger, cheaper version. So uh, that still to me looks like the pick. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.